Welcome to video number five, content creation strategy number two. We're going to be focusing on image compilations. This is going to be using a very similar strategy as strategy number one, but the difference is we're going to be using images with a twist in a different strategy. So let's get started. So I, as I stated earlier, we're going to be using a similar strategy to strategy number one, but in this case, we are going to dive in to images. Images are very, very powerful. Now, I do want to say up front that this doesn't really give you the permission to go out there and grab other people's images to use for your own purposes. Really what we're doing is we're finding images that we want to use, but you also have to link back to the owner of the site or give them credit. So this is not plagiarism or copying or anything like that. This is all about content creation in the right way. Now, using strategy number one, remember I talked about find the end result. So in this case, I'm at Pinterest. You can use this at any other image site. You don't have to use Pinterest. I'm just using Pinterest. So in this example, let's say for example that I am selling a video course or some sort of blueprint, ebook, whatever, on how to train your dog. And in this specific example, how to train your dog specifically in obedience training. So the end result would obviously be a dog who is an obedient dog. Now, it doesn't have to be that way. I can do a little twist and I can focus on, on dogs that bite and how to help dog owners train their dogs to not bite. So maybe in that case, the end result would be a happy dog that doesn't look like it wants to bite. Now, of course, you got to keep in mind, are these websites where these images are located on, are these websites related to just dogs in general or are they related to whatever I am trying to promote? Because in the end, yes, you can use images, but you have to use the links to the images. So you can't use the images alone. So I could go up here to Pinterest and do something like puppy crate training. And what you're looking for are boards. You're not really looking for pins. I'm trying to find boards that people have already created that are kind of like lists, but they're lists of images and sites that are related to each other. In this case, related to puppy crate training. So ignore this one and ignore this one. Just go straight to the boards, as you can see here. And we can see all boards, place boards. And we have a multitude of a good amount of dog crate training boards. So that is step number one. Step number one is to go to Pinterest or any other image sites, but I would recommend Pinterest. Go find boards that are related. If you can find an image that is very, very popular that other websites possibly are linking to, have on their site, and things like that, they are proven to work, and proven popularity is a good thing. Now, so the question is, how do you know if an image is popular or not? Well, there's a special tool called 10i. If you go to 10i.com, you can actually enter the image URL here and you can upload the image here. And th what this will do is it's a reverse image search. And what that means is it'll actually search the whole internet or at least their database of whether how many times the image actually shows up. Now you can install this on the Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, and Opera browsers. I have it personally installed right now on my Google Chrome browser. So all I need to do is simply go here, click on this, right click, and do a search on image on Tinai. So what this will do is it'll scour the internet for other images that are the same thing. So that actually did not show up anything. It's a zero results. But then again, I did a, another search on this particular crate here and I actually saw that there are four results as you can see here. So we can see that actually PetSmart, Petsco, Petco, Dog Crate Beds actually sell these crate beds. 
Now, sometimes you'll get images to have something like 12 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or more results. The more popular the image is, that's a good sign. And the goal here, if you're, if you're following, is that step number one, find images. Step two, figure out if they're popular or not. If they are, then you don't have to reinvent the wheel. All you have to do is use those websites that have the images, link to them, react to them, comment on them, and then make sure that you have like 10 or 20 similar images and curate that content, respond to it, and then insert your own blurb that promotes your product or service. So in this example, it would be something like the top 10 crates for puppy crate training. Okay, here's a list of crates. Now you have a crate. How do you crate train your puppy? Upgrade, buy my ebook or buy my video course as I teach you how to crate train your puppy. So that's how image compilations work, but step number two helps you decide whether you should use the site that contains the image or not, because it's already proven, it's already proven to work. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and you know that it's probably going to work for you as well.